Project ARIA is a research effort built around the custom glasses you see here that is designed to record high-quality egocentric data, which in turn will enable researchers to advance the state of the art around machine perception and personalized, contextually aware AI. Project ARIA is not in itself an AR device since it lacks a display, and it is neither a product nor a prototype of a product and will not be for sale. It is a research tool, and it is a critical step on the path to live maps and the interface of the future. One way to think about Project ARIA is as an evolution of the methods which were used to build maps in the past. Since the 1960s, satellites have allowed us to map outdoor environments at tremendous scale, but they're limited in the map resolution and freshness they can produce. Low-flying aircraft and car fleets provided data capture at a higher resolution with increased update rates, but they're limited to outdoor environments. Backpack rigs can now map indoor spaces at high resolution, but are unable to fully capture the wide range of environments relevant to our daily lives. Project ARIA is the vanguard of the next leap in data capture technology, client-based mapping, which will one day enable anyone with an AR device to build and use live maps wherever and whenever they need to based on data from their own devices, particularly AR glasses. The use of egocentric data will make it possible to construct higher resolution maps that are dynamically updated at a much higher frequency and will enable mapping of a far greater spectrum of environments than has been possible with any previous mapping technology. In addition to enabling state-of-the-art research into map building, Project ARIA will let researchers explore what data AR glasses will need to capture in actual use and how AI can most usefully leverage that data to provide personalized assistance. Let's take a look at each component of Project ARIA in closer detail. At its heart, Project ARIA is an all-day wearable computer and sensor platform with a powerful mobile class processor, all wrapped up in an ergonomic glasses form factor weighing under 70 grams. The device is controlled by the wearer using a mobile companion app, which communicates via an encrypted low-energy Bluetooth link. As Boz noted, once a data sequence has been recorded and the device is placed on charge, data is uploaded to Facebook's research servers and kept in quarantine meaning it's not made available to researchers. During the quarantine period, participants can delete segments of captured data from the system without accessing the raw data. Any data that is gathered in public places is also passed through a set of privacy filters by our system to automatically blur faces and license plates. A prominent LED indicates when the device is recording, and ending the recording is as simple as flicking the mute switch on the side of the glasses. Project ARIA supports a variety of sensors that gather the sort of data that AR glasses will need to capture. These include a front-facing RGB camera, two side-facing monochrome cameras, and dual IMUs, which each contain an accelerometer and a gyroscope. This combination of sensors allows us to both observe the environment and track the position of the glasses, the wearer's hands, and objects within the scene. In this example, we can see the trajectory of the device being calculated from both the camera and the IMUs as the glasses wearer interacts in an apartment setting. In addition to sensors to visually observe the world, Project ARIA supports seven directional microphones for spatialized audio capture and two inward-facing cameras to monitor the direction of the wearer's gaze. By combining data from the inward-facing sensors with live maps, our researchers have shown we can project the gaze of the wearer into the map of their environment, creating a powerful tool for understanding user intent. The combination of these powerful sensing, location, and indexing technologies with an always-on wearable form factor raises important questions about the privacy controls that will need to be in place to prevent misuse. Project ARIA has been developed precisely to enable us to address those challenges long before AR glasses are commercially available and, as Boz described, already has privacy controls in place. Starting this month, Facebook employees will be using Project ARIA devices in public and private spaces, including their homes, and also on our campuses once they reopen, in order to help inform the development of live maps and contextualized AI. That's just a quick look at the capabilities that Project ARIA brings to AR and AI research, but I hope you now have a sense of why it's an essential part of building the machine perception foundation for the AR future.